guys welcome back to my channel um you would not believe the amount of books you're currently balancing on on my phone to make it up to the right height for me to do this vlog um so you're currently balancing on the discovery of witches a earth magic book a crystal tarot deck book a bunch of children's books and um and it's still not quite the right height so i'm going to adjust it and be back right back with you Okay, so I think that's as good as it's going to get, if I'm honest. <sighs> okay, right, so today um, I've got a shopping haul for you. It's a little bit of Primark, a little bit of Wilco's. Um, it's just odds and sods really, mainly Primark. And I only got one thing for me. The rest is for everything else, for everybody else in the family. Um, if you're new around here, my name's Claire. Hello, I have three children and I'm from Hampshire in the UK. And I do grocery hauls every week, meals of the week videos, days in the life, family day out vlogs, all sorts of that. Just bringing you along for what we get up to, what life is like, and un sort of unfiltered version of life with three children. Um, try and keep it as real as possible because that's me. Um, and I don't really sugarcoat things. But um, we're currently on holiday in the Peak District visiting Gareth's dad, Gareth's husband. Um, and today we've been at a farm park, but then we popped out to the shops afterwards to get some stuff. And I thought, you know, if I've got a bunch of stuff from Primark, I may as well make a video and show you guys what we've got. So yeah, let's get into it. Um, I've got a little GNT here because it is, I don't know, quarter past six. Um, so why not? I know I'm technically I'm on holiday. So if you are new around here, but you haven't subscribed yet, um, please hit that subscribe button if you like this video. Go check out some other videos. I have loads and loads and loads. Um, if you do enjoy this video, give me a thumbs up and subscribe, like, share, all of that YouTube jazz. Just, um, yeah, the more buttons you click, the better it is for the algorithm. And then my videos get pushed out there to more people. And then, you know, I can share my stuff with more people. Um, so. We've been all over the place today. I will start with... So, Wilkinson's, or which is now called Wilco, um, are uh, gone into administration, which is really sad because I go, I like, I really like it there, as do loads of people. But um, the kids love to pick a mix from there and because we were there, they really wanted to go and get some and I needed some more face cream. So I picked up in Wilco's, this amazing face cream, I think it's amazing anyway. It's two pounds for each. And like, this is called Skin Therapy Q10 Plus Renewing Day Cream SPF 15. This sorts of thing in like the supermarkets or boots would be easily eight or nine quid. This was two pounds and I've been using it for a little while and I really like it. So I picked up two of the day, the day creams with SPF. And I've also been using this night cream and I just really like them. And so I picked up two more of these and these are only two pounds as well. And because I don't know how much longer I'm going to get them for, I thought I may as well stock up. So I got those from Wilco's and I think that's the only thing we got from Wilco's apart from pick and mix for the, for the kids and, and me and Gareth. So we all got some pick and mix. Um, and then it's getting back to like the back to school time. So I don't know if the boys shoes still fit them or not. So I need to check them when we get home. Um, because Charlie had school shoes fairly recently because he just wrecks his shoes. So his may still be okay for September and still fit him. And I need to check Zach's. So I'm going to do them when we get back off holiday. But I know Lily really needs some new school shoes because hers were getting too small. And then towards the end of term, she was just wearing like summery type canvas shoes with her little um, summer dresses. So I picked her up these in shoe zone. And I realised that's not like the place to get kids shoes from it's not clark's but i'm not paying clark's prices they're like 50 quid a pair and i've got three kids so that's a lot of money on school shoes um so i'm just not doing it unless i've got you know vouchers or find something in, in the sale i don't buy clark's and they grow out of them quite quickly and my kids go so hard on their shoes my boys especially that even they just wear out clark's even clark's they wear out so i just buy them cheap and cheerful shoes and then when they're done i stick them in the clothes recycling bank um, but anyway, from Shoe Zone, I picked up these little, let's put them the right way around, shall we? Walk right shoes. And they're a size 10. The 11s were too big. Um, and there's a little bit of room in the 10s. So I thought that was good for her. Um, and they're, they're so pretty. They are pretty. And they were only 9 99 But they actually feel 
good quality. Like they're a sturdy shoe. Can't see glue or anything on them. She thought they were really comfortable. So I got them for her. So they were 9 99 And even if she only wears them for like... Dropping everything. Um, even if she only wears them for, you know, six months and her feet grow or five months, it's only £10. And she's got a nice... Like they're a, stu a sturdy shoe. Like I am impressed with them to be honest and I love the little patent like pattern um shiny shoes but they scuff so quickly so I'll always choose a matte one over a shiny one any day because then they just look nicer for longer but we got Lily her school shoes for September and the main thing is she's chuffed with them so that's the main thing and Zach actually picked them out and said oh what about these so we've got those for Lily and then moving in um onto Primark so we've got everything else from so Charlie got quite upset because he wanted a, he loves Stitch, I'm really going to Stitch, he really loves Stitch, he's got a big cuddly toy Stitch that we got him when we were in Disneyland Paris. So I'm just trying to untangle this because it's, it's got, oh no, it's not tangled at all, it's meant to be on there. Um, yeah, he loves Stitch when we were in Stitch and he wants all Stitch match, but a lot of trouble is, a lot of it is for girls, and I know that like things aren't for girls or for boys, but if he found out he was wearing something that was intended for girls, he wouldn't be happy and I don't want him to get picked on or anything. Not that kids would notice, but, you know. Um, and he saw this Lilo and Stitch water bottle, but the water bottle was £7 and he, he's notorious for dropping and breaking his water bottles. So I only buy the cheap ones. He's got one of those, like, metal ones that are really popular at the moment. We've all got them. Um, but, like, it's so bashed up. His is so bashed up because he drops it and everything, so it's dented and the paint's come off it. But I'm like, I don't see the point in buying another one for him because the same thing's going to happen. So I said to him, I'm not buying you that. I'm not spending £7 on it. It's plastic. He will drop it. It will crack. And then it will be wasted. So he was quite upset. But when we were in the queue, I did see... It's gone now. What did I, what did I get for him? I'm going to have to go find it. Bear with me. Here we are. This is what I got for him. He wanted a key ring. It's not strictly a key ring, but he can put it on his school bag. It's a phone charm. It was only £1.50 and it's a stitch phone charm. And he loves things like this. He's He really, really loves things like this. So I said he could have that because he was really upset that he couldn't get something with stitch on it. Um, and he's been after a stitch t-shirt as well, but I haven't found anything for him. So yeah, so I got him this and he can just put it on one of his little key ring loops on his school bag. And he was happy with that. So it was only £1.50. So I thought I'd get that for him. And then Lily chimed in on the key ring front. And she decided she wanted a Mickey Mouse one. This isn't even a proper key ring. It's a travel dangle. But I suppose it is. You can have it as a key ring. But this was £1. And she wanted a little Mickey Mouse one. Because my kids are Disney fans. So I said, OK, then you can have that. So I got her that for a pound. And um, Primark do pretty good Disney merch, don't they? I didn't even get to look at the women's clothes for me today because by the time we'd finished, um, Gareth's patience was running very thin and um, Grandad's, was he was done, he was done for the day. Um, so the only thing I did pick up for myself in Primark, and I was so excited about this, I saw it and I was like, oh, I got a, da -da, a pumpkin scented candle. And I don't know what the scent is, it doesn't say this was six pounds and i thought it was oh it's chipped you're joking how did that get chipped oh never mind see that there's a there's a little chip but i can probably just color that in with one of the kids coloring pencils it smells very nice i'm guessing it might be pumpkin spice because it's a pumpkin candle a loud car going by um but when it obviously burns down, I will just stick a tea light in it and use it like that anyway, um, as an autumn decoration in my house. So I got that, I'm a bit bummed that it's chipped. If I'm honest, it probably would have got chipped eventually anyway, wouldn't it? But, oh, it smells so nice. And they had another one, like a glass, dark brown, bigger pumpkin one with a double wick in it. And that was nice too, but I can't really remember how much autumn decor I have. I think it's quite a lot. So before I buy any more, I'm going to have to go through the stuff I've got. But there's no way I was leaving this behind when I saw it. I love all things pumpkin. I love all things autumn. I love the summer. I love the spring. But autumn is like my vibe. I don't know why. Maybe it's because I was born in December. And so I'm of that time of year. But yeah, October, November, 
So I'm all about the autumn. I love the colours. I love the leaves falling off the trees. I love getting all cosy. I mean, I love being outdoors in it as well. But yeah, I just love it. I love autumn. Um, so yeah, that was my thing I bought for myself today. Oh, it smells really nice. It's not too strong either. It's quite mild. So yeah, that's my little pumpkin spice pumpkin candle, which I am very excited about, as you probably can tell. So the rest of it is mainly for the kids and for Gareth. So Zach needs some more summer pajamas. So then got one pair of summery type pajamas, like short sleeve pajamas. Um, all of his other ones are long sleeve, long trousers. And my mum bought him some Minecraft ones when we were out the other day, that, which he loves, but I've needed to get him some more. So I picked him up these sporty ones in Primark. They're only £10, they're £5 a pair, and they're size 10 to 11, I think. Um, yeah, and they were £10 all in all, and he liked them. There were ones for more, more money. I was like, you're only wearing them in bed. We don't need to buy the more expensive ones just because of what they got on them. These are nice, and he agreed. So I got him some pyjamas. Um, the rest of it, you know, there's one, one more thing for Zach. Zach, because he's the oldest, he gets the brand new clothes, but he has the least amount of them, I find, because Charlie gets some new stuff, but he also gets all of Zach's hand-me-downs, so he has loads of clothes. And then Lily's a girl, so she gets a mixture of new new clothes and stuff that's given to me from friends and things so she she does very well as well um but zach's got no long sleeve tops that are going to be like big enough for him coming into the autumn so i got him this little set which was six pound for both so three pound each 10 to 11 a black and gray long sleeved top and then this one is blue and white so i thought that would be perfect for him with jeans or joggers during the winter and then if it's very cold he can put a jumper over the top so that's what we got him. And then the rest is for Gareth. So I don't know if you know, I was interested in this, but I'll show you anyway what we've got for Gareth. Gareth loves Primark t-shirts. And I love them too because A, they're really cost effective. They're four pound each. And they're not pure cotton. They've got like elastane or something in them. Just having a look on the, do do do. I can't tell, hang on. Where's it gone? All right, so I just can't tell at all. But it's kind of a stretch material, so when you, they wear it, it's a little bit more form-fitting, and I think it looks really nice on him. Like, in Primark t-shirts, I find him quite fanciable. I'm quite fancy him anyways, my husband. But um, it just it looks nicer, rather than like a pure cotton t-shirt that hasn't got any shape to it. It just fits nicely, and I like him in it. So I said to him, okay, I'm just getting more Primark t-shirts because you, he likes them and I like them and I think they look nice and they fit well. So he, she's got some more white ones, just plain white ones. I think he picked up three plain white ones. Yeah, in XL. Extra large, yeah, slim fit, that's what they are, slim fit. And they just suit him really nicely. So he's got three white ones and they were four pounds each. And then he also got, oh right, I didn't see this one, but yeah, this is, Totally something he'd like. It's a different material, I think. Let's have a look. Not that I could see the first time. It feels a slightly different material. Can't tell, but it feels. Yeah, it's not got the elastane in it, so this one won't keep its shape as well. But he got this one because he's a little bit of a motorbike head. He's got a motorbike, and he likes. He likes motorbikes. This one was. Three pounds. So that was only three pounds. I'm reckoning that's because it's not the material isn't as quite good quality as the other ones. But he likes it. You can't really go wrong for three pound either, can you? And actually, he hasn't got any shirts this colour, so that's that's quite nice. Um, and then he also got this one, which was more expensive at seven pounds, but it's Jaws. He loves Jaws. Um, I love Jaws. I think I like Jaws more than Gareth, Gareth does, to be honest, but he does like the film. And he saw it and wanted it. Um, Zach actually wanted to follow the loose threads there. Zach wanted to get one as well, but they didn't have one in a size small enough for him. And the size that like he would have fit into in sort of maybe two years time. I said, well, when you're 12, you're unlikely to want to wear a Jaws shirt with your dad like you don't know how they're going to change their tastes are going to change as they get a bit older and i didn't want to waste my money 
Um, what he was after was a Stranger Things t-shirt, but they had none in the kids section. They just had nothing. So that's going to go on his Christmas list. But yeah, so I, I said, don't get one for sad, let's not bother. Um, but yeah, Gareth got a Jaws t-shirt. And then he's also a real big fan of Primark jeans because he's he's six foot two, but he's not got like, I think he hasn't got like the longest legs in the world. He's got a long body. So he has waist 34, length 32, and he finds that quite tricky to find in men's like jean sizes. So these are a slim stretch, and these are also, they're only £12 for a pair of jeans, and he loves them. So whenever we go into Primark, he usually tries to find a pair of jeans that he really wants, like that he likes, that he'll wear, and then he wears them to death. So I've got him a pair of jeans as well. Um, but yeah, it's just a size he struggles to find. So when he does find a pair that he likes that fit well, that just suit him, he will buy several pairs and then wear them to make them more. So yeah, so that is my little Primark Morganson's haul like thing. Um, I do hope that you have enjoyed it and it wasn't the most exciting haul, but I thought, you know, if I've bought stuff, you might want to see what we've bought. Um, so yeah, I hope you're all doing really well um, and you're enjoying the summer holidays with the kiddies. It's not that long till they go back to school now. So hang in there, everybody. Um, yeah. Take care guys, I'll see you in the next one. I will be doing a back to school haul probably because I've still got to get the uniform and everything sorted because I'm Mrs. Unorganised. Um, and I'll be doing that very soon. Um, so yeah, I'll see you soon and in the next video. Take care guys, bye.